Thanks for tuning in to the 3D Tutor. Hey guys and welcome to this virtual gallery tutorial. So this is going to be a mini series which is going to be covering a number of different things. From creating doors and animations, um, from bringing in assets, uh, from sound, uh, so interactive sound as well. We're going to have a cinema room which is going to incorporate a playable video which we can play and pause within our uh, 3D environment. Uh, it's also going to have a terrain, um, or should I say a landscape with trees and grass and other fun things like that. And also some animation on that foliage as well. So on the trees and grass we're going to get some animation on the leaves and, and other bits so <clears throat> we're going to start with just the door now you can get this project file the link is in the description below uh, if you click on that you should be able to download this template right here uh, in its current state so you should be able to follow along pretty well after that um, so I'm going to go ahead and drag in I originally called them door frame do not add in yet and the door do not add in yet but you know you can add them in right now uh, the reason being is because it's for a class that I teach and I wasn't in that day so I just sort of made sure that they weren't focusing on the doors just at this early stage so I'm going to drag that into my viewport and I'm going to simply use the move tool just to move it across roughly where I think it needs to go and then place it down now one thing that you have to uh, think about is that you know the, the door frame itself I've got a wooden panel that runs down the middle which is effectively the door stop right so the door is going to be on this side where the larger space is compared to the right but currently it's actually back to front because I want the doors to open into the next room I don't want it to be pulled into the room that I'm already in I want it to kind of flow so the door opens into the room so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click on this door frame I'm going to go down to uh, transform and then go to mirror X and that's going to mirror it on the X axis so if you see now the largest space is on the right hand side perfect so I'm going to go in <coughs> just going to pull that across so it overlaps and you want to make sure if you look on the opposite side that the wall itself isn't cutting through the door frame so I'm going to drag that across a little bit more and just ensure on both sides that the door uh, frame isn't clipping through that, that wall Next thing to do here is to ensure that the space between each side, so we've got a skirting board in there, so in each skirt uh, we want to make sure that the spacing is accurate or equal, should I say. So that's there and that's about there. It's pretty close. I'm going to leave it like that for now. I think that's pretty good. Um, and then what you need to do is establish the top uh, and make sure that there's no gap along the top there either. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that for now. Um, again, what you also want to do is just make sure it's going through the ground a little bit, make sure it's not hovering in the air. So just drag it into the ground just a touch for now. Okay, next step, we're going to drag in the door. So we've got the door, we're going to drag that in. It has got the hinges already set, set up for you, so you won't have to worry about any of that stuff. Um, so I've done quite a bit of the hard work in terms of setting that all up for you. It's a very basic door right now, but it's going to do the job. Um, again, it's just a placeholder, so you could obviously make your own door and, um, you know, drag it in here and stuff and replace it. That's no problem whatsoever. So what I'm going to have to do with this is also, because I flipped the door frame, I need to right click on the door, go to uh, transform mirror X, and that's going to flip it over on the right side. Now, you're probably thinking it looks exactly the same, but if you look closely, the hinges are now on this side of the door, whereas previously they were on the other side of the door. Okay, so it's really important that you get the hinges set up correctly. Next thing we want to establish and we want to make sure is correct is the spacing between this kind of metal, uh, metal, this panel that runs through um, the middle of the door frame and the door itself. You don't want the gap to be too big because that's going to look really odd. So you want it to be fairly tight there. Um, the way you can do that is if you zoom in sort of on the base, you want to make sure it doesn't cut into it like that, but you want to have just a small gap. You can just about see there. There's a small gap there. Also on the base as well. So if we have a look, we want to be able to see a tiny gap below here because we don't want this to go through the ground okay doors wouldn't function if they were touching the ground so we want it to appear like there's a little bit of a space there which is perfect another thing which you're gonna have to ensure that you line up correctly is the actual hinge itself so what you're gonna do is simply move it across to the left so that the um, hinge is overlapping very slightly on the door frame okay that means that when you rotate this door so if I just show you if I rotate this door it's gonna look like that hinge is actually connected to the door frame so let me show you here you see how it's overlapping just a touch you can see that it looks like it's connected and that looks pretty good I'm just gonna undo that next thing you want to make sure is that at the top of the door there is no gap and as we can see there's a pretty big gap there so the easiest thing to do here is you can select the door frame itself and we can move that down um, so that the gap is a little bit well so that it's smaller Okay, so something like that, it's going to be okay. There's a very small gap there, you can just see. It's very 
difficult to tell, but there is a small gap there. Hopefully you can see that um, just there. So that's pretty much perfect. Okay, so what you would effectively do, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this, I'm just gonna hold control and select the door and the door frame. At this point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag, you're gonna copy this over and you're gonna drag it over every single doorway that you wanna place this door on. Okay, so I'm gonna hold Alt, so you can hold the Alt key and you can simply move it across and that's gonna make a copy for you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be dragging this over to the front, to this very first door. Now again, what you wanna do here is just make sure that it kind of comes in and you can see that the gap there is pretty good, pretty equal to the one on this side as well. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna leave it like that, maybe just drop it a touch that way. Um, so that one's done. And then I'm gonna select these two doors again. So the door and the door frame. And I'm gonna to continue to do this on every single one, making sure that I hold Alt and not Shift to make a copy of that. So I'm gonna hold uh, Alt. And then you can hold Shift and it will just, um, move the view for you as well, which is quite useful. So I'm just gonna continue and do exactly the same thing as that on the rest of the door, doors all the way down to the very end, so the one to the very end just here, and then um, we'll continue to the next part of this tutorial. Okay, so on the very last door, uh, you might notice that there's actually a big gap on the base just there, we can see through it, um, but we're gonna be doing something later in terms of creating the terrain, which hopefully should um, get rid of that issue uh, completely so just go ahead and do exactly the same as before I and mean, we will fix that a little bit later all right so hopefully you've enjoyed this video guys and yeah make sure you smash the like button and do subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you in the next virtual gallery tutorial